When we talk about language, you are not just talking about maybe English, French, Spanish, Zulu, Sutu, or any other language. We are talking about tone of discussion, the way people talk, the mood, and the spirit behind their talk. So hence, we have what we call foul language. Foul language can be in English, can be in any other language. But foul language are languages that are not so good, you see. So this is what I want to look at in Christian culture today. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenoga as usual. Almighty God put a word in my mouth to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, to bless you and to encourage you, and I pray this morning, as you listen to the sound of my voice, God will take you higher. He will take you deeper into the things of Him. He will bless you. He will make a way where there is no way. He will send to you supernatural help from above. You will not be stranded. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Now, this morning, I want to continue the message, which I titled, Christian Culture and Way of Life. You see, the reason why we fail as Christians is because we are not following the culture of our calling. Our calling has got a different way of life from the way many of us live. And when you live contrary to your nature, you cannot survive. Can you imagine a fish trying to live in the land? That fish will die. Can you imagine a lion trying to live like an elephant? That lion cannot survive because lions don't eat grass like elephant. You see? And so lion cannot survive living the way of elephant. So many Christians are living the way of the world. And that is why we cannot survive. There is no way we can survive in a world where we are not, we don't naturally belong. You see, as born-again Christians, we naturally belong to Christ, and we must live in the habit of the way of life that is, you know, that is dictated by Christ Jesus. And so I'm looking at the way of faith, and I said, if we really want to look to live the way, the, the, the life of faith, which is naturally our lifestyle, we must take care of our language. And yesterday I dealt so much about language. Today I just want to conclude. You see, a Christian language is not that kind of foul language. Christians must not engage in abusive language. Christians must not be, you see, engaged in jesting language. Because the Bible says we should not make jests. You see? Because it said the jestings are not convenient. Christians must not engage in negative language. For instance, you, you Christians' language should not be, I am I'm weak. You, can, you must not say you are weak. You, mon, you must not say you are broke. You must not say negative things. Negative language is destructive to Christian life. And that is why the Bible says, Life and death are in the power of the tongue. They that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You see, Christian language must not be negative. Christian language must not be demonic. There are some demonic words that must not come out of your mouth. Christian language must not be corruptive. You see, many Christians speak like the people of the world. They talk everything. They are very corrupt. Their words are suggestive of some inconvenient and sinful act. Your word must not be subject, I mean, suggestive of corrupt and, you see, some romantic words. You see, these are the things that makes us to fail as Christians because we are living our life like ordinary people of the world. There is a kind of life we are called to live. Don't forget that. Don't forget that you have a way of life. Don't forget that there is something that you are called to do. There is a way you are called to live and it starts from your language. Take care of your language and your faith will grow. Take care of your language and your faith will be, you know, will be very robust. 
Take care of your language and you will see miracles happen in your life. Take care of your language and you will see God at work. Take care of your language and you will see the angels coming to help you in every situation. Take care of your language and you will see the best happening in your life. Take care of your language and everything will take take care of itself. Your language is important. You must use the language of Shadrach, Mesach and Abednego. You must use the language of, 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 of Abraham who called those things like that be not as though they were like God. You must use the language of David. You must use the positive language. You must use the modest language. This is the word this morning. And this is what God put in my mouth to speak to you. And I believe you are blessed. Thank you so much for listening to the sound of my voice. You are able to hear these messages every day because there are faithful partners that God have raised up to support this ministry so that we can send it to more people around the world. Thank you, partners. Maybe you also want to be a partner or maybe you are listening to this for the first time or you are listening to this from other media apart from WhatsApp and you want to receive this message directly on WhatsApp. Just WhatsApp me. This is my number. Just save this number. Save it with I prevail. My number is plus two seven seven four zero three zero two. 381. Save it right now. Go to your WhatsApp. Send me a simple message. Add me. From tomorrow, you will receive this message directly from me. And um, if you want to be a partner, just WhatsApp that number. Say partnership. I will tell you the means by which you can render your partnership offering. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. I thank you. If you are a pastor and um, you love to write a book, Maybe you don't have much time to write. You don't have much time to sit down. We have a company that uh, that writes books for you. Just preach the message. We will transcribe it and write it into a book, edit it, and forward it to you. And you can publish it. If you are a pastor or you are engaged in any profession that you want to write any type of book, you just speak the book, send the audio to us, we will transcribe it into a book for you. That is what we also do in our ministry. So if you are interested, contact that number that I just spoke right now. Thank you so much for listening to the sound of my voice. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out this morning and saying to you, Be blessed and remain blessed.